Hey, y'all, I'm up here trying to get my car. I was going to film. I was doing a film. This white man started attacking me, talking about a Black Lives Matter because he didn't like what I was doing in my field. Y'all, my car got towed for no reason. Again, the usual. It's the, I'm, uh, the, they arrested my son for the disorderly uh, conduct or whatever. They always resist an arrest. And no, I'm not hyped up. I'm on film. It's, it's okay. I'm on film. And it's, you heard him yelling. He uh, he said the white man said I'm out here yelling, Black Lives Matter stuff. <laughs> and we told him that. I'm just letting you know, okay? But but you're saying that, but we told him that what you don't understand is that we've been, we, when he said that, I told my husband to stand here. That wasn't enough from him. Just like he hear me and you talking and he, you just heard him hey, say Ms. the Ms. Black Ms. Lives Tina, Matter. Tina, Tina. Can well, he just give me my issue. paperwork so I can go away from you? Well, then give well, me my Ms. paperwork. Miss Tina, Miss Tina, hold on. G let me pay this motherfucker so I can leave. <laughs> Cause cause I need to leave payment. to get off of this white land. Get a, a form of payment, okay? I'm sorry to hear about whatever took place yesterday. I had nothing to do with it. No, I know you don't, but he didn't have nothing to do with it. You just heard him yell, she came up with that Black Lives Matter stuff. I'm not Black Lives Matter. I don't believe in the fake state. But he got no, mad because I'm standing here telling right. about the history of black people. And he's sitting up here being mad because he's making money off of the black community. Here's the thing, man. I just like need to pay my money and leave off this crack of uh, this, this this stuff. No, because I don't have time for it. I ain't said nothing to him. He thought he doing just like what white people do. Call the police on black people after they get mad. How you get mad about what well, I'm talking Ms. about? Tina, Ms. Tina, let's focus on here now. Let, let's, let's try to get your it, issue solved right here. There they go. Yeah. Ms. Ms. Tina, look. Like I was telling your husband, okay, this technically on the private property and i told him we could technically stand right yes, here yes he pulled he when we pulled Ms. out Tina, he stepped right Ms. there miss tina let, let's see don't try to explain it. to me let me just get my money okay. let me get this stuff and get away from these racist people that's all i've been trying to do he called you it wasn't necessary these are my um two cards if you want to give it to him because i don't want to be no I, yeah you could give it to him because he they're they're playing white victim right now and i promise you i ain't did nothing to them they do this that's right it, i know it's 200 and i've been calling y'all all night but he never said with cash only i have been calling yes i have and you got smart with my daughter-in-law that called to get the card ma'am i got the evidence did see how they do can you wait right here, sir, until I get the money? Thank you. This is what they've been doing. That's what they do. Karen and Billy. Go get the money, baby. I mean, uh, could you wait right here while I get the money? Because I don't want to be a left alone. Because you know how black folks come up missing at home. Miss Tina, this is what I request for you to do, okay? I can stand out here with you. Are you going to go to the closest ATM? Yeah. Okay. I'll wait right here. Let's let's go get this done so you guys can. can thank you. Let, let's get on with it. We this, know okay? what. Yes, thank you. I appreciate you trying to be. Here, and you ain't coming. Thank you. I just got offended because I was yes. not saying nothing to this man. He just started with. You guys live off Carmel, right? I think I've been to. Um, with my son? No, 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 not your son. I think it was your daughter. I think you uh -uh. called us one time. Uh -uh. My daughter ain't never been in you trouble. My off. daughter. No, no, uh -uh. She, wasn't, she wasn't in trouble. <laughs> No, I remember talking to you. I think I may have just ran into I can't remember. You live off of Edge or something? Mm -mm. No? Okay. No, I'm not even from here. That's why I'm pissed. Uh, where, where are you from? <laughs> we go, I'm, huh? Oh, here. Originally. I'm originally from New York, but I I, oh, wow. I, I I was in Panama City, and then the storm had moved me and stuff, so I had got oh. caught up in Hurricane Michael. And the reason why I was saying this, I was just doing my show, just saying how statistically how we as black people you have always like a podcast. Or yes, oh, okay. awesome. that's what all I was saying. I, and he just started yelling, and then when he said he didn't want it, I told my husband, I said, "Well, go out here." And film when I said that he was like, I'm finna make it hard for you. I'm getting ready to make it hard. I'm finna call the police. So, so here's the thing. You know, everybody acts differently mm -hmm. when, it, when it comes to you know um, when they have an expectation of privacy. You know, like because he's got a gated thing, right? 
it'd be the same thing like you know if somebody came up to your house you know doing a solicitation for example like hey I want you to buy this and and they're filming and, and all that stuff and that may not make you feel like you want to be this is a place saying? of business if he didn't want it filming is. don't he advertise but don't but he so, advertise so this is a place of business it's, it's still, it's, it's, it's I, and I totally it's understand and I totally understand when he first said he did not want it filmed on property I told my husband come out here but see like his wife right here she got her film on but see they can film me but they don't want me filming them and then he told me but listen but listen let me tell you he told me the cameras was up there but he was filling out the paperwork I was even talking to the little dog I told my husband like film me because I'm talking about this when he started, I said, okay, it's no problem. Pull the car out here and I'll do the business out here. We don't have to do it in your yard. Yes, I did. Pull your camera. Okay, okay. But either which way. Yes, that's right. And all I was saying is how most businesses, he was telling me before this, he seen me filming. But when we got into the deep about the conversation, he wanted the film cut off because he was telling me how he told eight white people cars. And I was telling him at the end of the day, you're in a predominantly white area, but this stuff affects black people. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I, I, and I, but either which way, you know, you know, but just like the, but, but, but the thing is how he first yelled out, she came with that black lives matter stuff. I ain't say one thing about black lives matter. But see, that's a, an assumption. That's a stereotype. Anytime you hear black people talking about issues, you, they, they automatically jump in thinking that I'm just Black Lives Matter. No, I'm just saying statistically, black people are left behind out of opportunities. And I was trying to show on my show how when we try to make money and make it for ourselves, when things like this come in, that takes away from our, when you have to pay a tow bill out the blue. Because I was saying, if they would have called me last night, my son was not in the car. He didn't get pulled over. It was parked. Right. So on my show, I was saying how if they would have called me, I could have came down the block and picked up my car. Let me say this. I could have came down the car block and picked up my car. This is what I was saying on the film. And then I was saying that this affects us as black people because we're always trying to make it. But when we barely have money and we're making it, we don't have the best jobs and stuff like that. When a situation like this comes right before the holiday, a week before the holiday. And I said that takes away from we have to either pay our rent or food. Uh, arrested by the sheriff's office or yes department? he was arrested by the sheriff's and why i don't know they only thing they said he was arrest, arrested for resisting arrest and that's like, what i would like me to find out i already talked to him it oh, was resisting okay. arrest but how can you resist arrest when you never arrested they just did this to my son and this is why i was doing well, so, a film so, they just did it to my husband we just got my husband I mean, car out of pain i can explain that to you. but no it's nothing to explain i was doing my show on statistics y'all can oh, okay. explain yeah. all y'all want but yeah. at the end of the day like i was saying every business on this street is white majority of this town and it's not nothing wrong with it nothing wrong with it but the the fact is majority of white people are have opportunity hello i don't know he ain't answering um yeah it just it just tripped me out and stuff and he was trying to tell me that i was wrong and then he basically i wasn't talking to the man he got into my conversation because he heard my show. I can oh, understand. Okay. That's that's what like I was on saying. A live feed or something? Yes. Oh, okay. I was just talking, and he didn't like what I was saying in the background. And he never told me. I've been out here about thirty minutes. He never said you had to have cash or nothing. It's like don't attack the black person because you don't like what I'm saying. That's just the truth. And then his wife jump out with her film, but it's okay for her to sit and get her, her, her phone and film me. The hypocrisy. No, it ain't about you, Jay. It ain't about you. It's that they sat up here and lied and said y'all didn't call last night. They first was lying, saying we hadn't been trying to contact them. The only reason I end up coming up here is because they wouldn't answer the phone. They know they're not going to answer the phone because every day that the car sit in tow is more money for them. And that's what I was saying. And I mean, I know y'all got that. It's, this is not about y'all. This was about, like I'm talking to you, I was doing on my film, and he just didn't like what I had to say and stuff. So it comes down to that. I was just trying to get here so that another day wouldn't be charged. And my point was, had we catched it last night at 11 o'clock, then he wouldn't have this day to put on there. Isn't it, um, don't they charge by the day when you leave it in a tow? I believe so. Typically, that's up to the tow company. Yeah. But, yes, ma'am, most of them, I believe, do. But he a nice sheriff. 
He nice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't felt no, you know, I mean, you know, I'm straight, my show is straight, no chase, you know, I talk the truth, and I mean, we got to deal with each other and stuff, and that, and I only try to point out facts, I try to talk, even though my stuff goes hard, I talk, because I try to figure, I'm trying to figure out a way that we can talk about what's really going on without no trouble, what <laughs> you he done seen something, that dude was white, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's not about trying to be enemies. Now, this this um, sheriff, he was really, really nice and stuff. Them things over there on the other the, the side of the fence, that motherfucker Karen with the telephone, I told y'all about that. And and Becky, they 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 okay. They 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 like this kind of shit. They thought they were gonna call the police. We both called the police. You can't stop me from talking. What kind of bullshit is that? You trying to stop me from expressing what's going on with me and what I experience as a human being. But yet, he thought because he is a white dude, he tell me to shut up. I'm supposed to just shut up. Yes, yes. That's how it turned. Like that, Quincy went to go get the money, and then on top of it, I'm I. When I started, I was. Oh, I guess I'm still on live, y'all. So I'm waiting to get this. And then I told the hubby to be recording on his phone so we can get the whole thing. I don't like giving half the story. His phone, he said it didn't even record. But how the thing is, it pissed me off. This man got literally got pissed the fuck off because I was talking about how things affect black people. And this motherfucker got pissed the fuck off. They do not want us to speak the truth. They want us to walk around and pretend that everybody and everything is equal and all of us are equal. And we're not. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to walk and show y'all the back of me and stuff to see how they all stick together. This is what I'm talking about. Only reason the police got called is because he was mad because I said how black people are affected. So he told me that his card and they not reading it. Yeah, I was saying that he's coming. It was my business card and stuff and he was read. Uh, I know oh, that um, he said the machine wasn't reading it. He had to go to another place. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, they're, they're asking me about another issue with this car. So oh, no, you're fine. Mm. That's why I voted for Trump, so I could see my enemies. I ain't vote. I'm lying, but that's why I would have voted for Trump, so that you could know who it is. They go behind scenes quietly now. They see when they were bold and Trump was out, they would have been bold, they flags been out and everything. You would know who you dealing with. Hey, it, it's done, aren't there? I don't I don't see it in my system for these See how they get use each other. They got him running people tag numbers and shit. See how they can the power the power I'm talking about. Don't you wish you had a police officer friend that you can go tell to run people tags and shit? Mm, it must be nice to be white. Mm. I'm with the black people separate. I'll be back with y'all people because I cannot see at all. I'll be back.